Hey guys, it's Jordan with National Speed, and today we're in Florida visiting our friends at VMP Performance, and in this video, we're gonna give you a little peek behind the curtain. Let's go check it out. Now, if you follow our builds, and chances are you know that VMP Performance Superchargers are a staple across our Ford packages. From 600 to over 1,000 wheel horsepower, VMP's TVS 2650 Superchargers get it done. In short, these things just work. While some may think of VMP as a huge company, the truth is they're a relatively small operation run by a tight-knit group of enthusiasts who just love helping Fords make power. The VMP products we know and love are all designed, tested, and brought to market by the talented team inside these four walls. And given our volume of installs, Justin, Rebecca, and the rest of the crew had us down to collaborate on streamlining our installation procedure. So with that all said, I'll turn it over to JD to step us through. This is the VMP facility. We're uh, research and development and supercharger manufacturing, but we have a lot of faucets of this business. So the first office that you come by and when you come to the front door is actually gonna be our tuning office. Michelle, Mike, and Joe work out of this office. So it's probably one of our busiest offices and probably where the most customer contact comes through. We tune thousands of cars, ranging all sorts of makes and models, pretty much anything and everything Ford and then some other select stuff. So this is the cave that is our sales department. A little dark if you want to have a peek. There's three guys in here. That'll be Paul, Anthony, and Ken. That's our, that's our direct contact for sales. So if you email in, you call, or you live chat on our website, those are the guys you're going to be talking to. And they're, they're here to help you know, assist with uh, quotations. If you want to get an install done, they can help put together uh, the quote for the hours. Then they can even assist with like support stuff. So if you have some problems or questions or concerns, just feel free to hit us up. This is our engine room. Engine and storage, um, while we don't do like a lot of engine building, we need an engine on a stand at all times to do like R&D stuff. So like belt drive stuff, supercharger fitment, when we're evaluating castings, things of that nature, we keep an engine on the stand to work with at all times. So this is a Gen 2 Coyote. We use this for fitment of Odin and some of our lower intake stuff. If I recall correctly, that supercharger on the ground there that is a prototype unit, right? That is a 3D printed. Yeah. So it's a form of casting done, very similar to 3D printing, uh -huh. so it can be rapidly done. Probably the most expensive supercharger in the facility right, right now. <laughs> yeah. Prototypes always are. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, that's a lot of our small part storage and stuff like that. Next over here across the hallway is our media room. That's my office. Um, Anything from our live streams, if you've caught one of our live streams. I've seen this corner many a time in many YouTube videos. <laughs> Absolutely. So our live streams are staged here. Um, our product photography, we've got Sharky here giving us a hand with product photography today. Uh, as well as all social media handling. So like mm -hmm. when a post is created or any kind of anything, that's me. And it, I'm in that corner over there uh, typing and responding to you guys on Facebook and Instagram. We build all our lower intakes in, here in house. So we take the castings, put the cores in, actually fully assemble that lower intake for all our Gen 3R supercharger kits. This is our shipping and staging. So when you order a supercharger kit, the kits aren't just like set out and already built. You place an order, you let us know your spec, your year, your make, your model, other modifications and stuff like that. Our shipping team by hand assembles your kit. So like the four boxes you get when you get a blower, you get a knockdown box, you get your cold air intake, all that stuff comes in. It's all hand assembled by uh, Sean, Stacy, and uh, Joel. We put all that together per order. So you know, if you wonder why there's a little bit of a delay, it's because we're going through all your options, making sure it's dead on what it's su supposed to be, right. packing it up and shipping it out to you. And, and I can attest to this. I, I stood back here for a little bit yesterday and just watched them work as they were packing up supercharger kits. And I gotta say, like, it is very process oriented. They have it down to a science. Everyone knows exactly where each pick component is on the shelf. Uh, and actually these five boxes that you're looking at there, those belong to National Speed. Those are about to head down to our uh, Wilmington headquarters. So they really do have a, uh, a process nailed here and it's a tight ship. So this is our primary inventory location. You'll see there's Odin's on the bottom shelf. They're matching intakes as well as overflow storage up top. Um, Gen 3Rs are all across the bottom for Coyote, uh, GT500 and Cobra, all that stuff stored here in house. So if we've got stock in it, it's sitting right here, you place an order, Stacy, who's off camera, is gonna process that order, slap a label on it and get it on its way to you. You can see here where we've made that extra diameter, or extra thickness, by dipping down into the casing of the blower. So yep. that mounts this way and we hang it as far as we can down. Uh, with uh, It was kind of that balance. We've had one that was, what the hell? We experimented with various thicknesses and we got so thick that like it was starting to create a restriction and then backed it down to balance uh, effectiveness and efficiency. And PWR produces these for you guys, don't yeah. they? Yeah, that's, that's I'll build market. 
So this is our shop. We do all of our research and development here as well as uh, customer installations, things of that nature. Uh, and we even kind of maintain a few of our own race cars. So this is a five bay shop. We've got Jeremy, our lead technician here. You'll have some bits of uh, Jeremy. He's a character uh, as the national speed guys have discovered. Uh, but nonetheless, yeah, this is, this is our facility here. We work on virtually anything that we support. Um, <laughs> year round, the beauty of Florida, I suppose. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, we got one more real cool thing we want to show you. So I'm gonna grab a car, we're gonna pull it out and let's have a look at something. This was a dollar car. Are you familiar with the dollar car program with Ford? No, I'm not. So Ford wants to promote the aftermarket. Right. So they have a program where you submit designs for a chance to purchase a car for a dollar based on your design to be featured on the main Ford floor at SEMA. Oh, that's cool. So this was a submission that was all drawn up by Rebecca. The graphics are all actually the stickers. They're painted, they're under clear coat. This car was fully done in that way. This car was originally a black performance pack car. So you're telling me this nose art here was painted and then cleared over? Yeah. That is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, everything you see on the car except for on the glass. The glass is vinyl, but everything that's actually on the car is wow, painted on the car. Wow, that's There's fantastic. No that's seams, so good. It's, all, it's all hand brushed on there. But uh, nonetheless, uh, so back to like why this happened. We had a car with no motor and we had a crate engine because we, uh, we could not get a hold of a GT500 at that time. So we had a 2020 GT500 Predator engine on, on a crate, like in a crate on a stand. And we had this car with no engine. It was kind of like, Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> so aside from the exterior, Cervini's did all the body work and they custom made this one off the hood. It's a GT350 hood done in fiberglass with a plexiglass window. And I gotta say, the plexiglass window, that was there before the Predator swap was done, right? Yeah, and it, it featured the VMP blower and it just happened to be it a happy accident. So perfectly yeah. that you look through now and you see that Predator supercharger, that 2650 <laughs> just peering at you from underneath the hood. Yeah, and absolutely. It's, it's something bad. On the interior, we didn't do a whole lot on the interior, but you'll notice the seats are hand stitched for cars. I, I do love the little attention to detail yeah. there with the pilot, co pilot. Yeah, so you got pilot and co pilot, and our, uh, our logos are uh, embroidered into both headrests yeah. in the seats. It's been really cool to see how it's evolved over all these different iterations. Absolutely, we have. We've used it as the platform on which we've tested virtually everything we've done. Yeah. It's had an Odin supercharger on it, it's had Gen 3, Gen yep. 3R, it's had Predator, it's had various forms of the Predator blower and stuff that we've been working on. Port blowers it's had virtually everything you can throw at it. it's yeah. been in as many pieces as it takes to put it together it's been in those many pieces so while we do various things that's so cool that's yeah. the way to do it though yeah well every vehicle that we have is, is, a, is a, a form of function test we we use them uh, for example, you may have seen our Chucky series, the, uh, the oh, S197 yeah. car. Well, that car is, I'm looking at it right there. <laughs> yeah, that car is sitting right over there. Yeah, that car is naturally aspirated with a big shot of nitrous on it, but we developed our nitrous tuning on that car. There was right. a purpose behind what we are doing. We weren't just trying to tear a car up. And the car still runs great. It eventually probably will have a new home soon. Now, I've got to say, it's pretty remarkable how this small operation has become such a big name in the industry. It's really cool to have a closer look at how it all works. Huge thanks to the entire crew at VMP Performance for being such great hosts and treating us like family during our stay. Oh, and a special thanks to Jeremy who treated us like, um, well, like this. You wanna jump in and take a ride? Ah, shit, boss. Yeah, so we're gonna have to be putting them over there. We're gonna put them over there. We're gonna have to get creative. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure going in. Good and girthy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, uh, about my thumb length. If you want to take my thumb, you know, you can just. Uh, uh, uh. That's all you get. <laughs> Friction, man. Friction? Yeah. I'm missing out. Yeah. You, know, you, you want want my got friction. it going on. You want my friction, Jeremy. You know it.